Are you big in the theme parties? Because I saw the ugly Christmas sweaters. They're pretty mean. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're, me and my wife are starting to get into all that stuff. Uh, my wife uh, definitely uh, loves have you know get, just having fun with parties. And um, we had an ugly sweater party. We didn't have one, but we went to one. And, um, you know, we got some pretty cool sweaters. And, you know, we just like to have fun. And she says that she beat Andrew McCutcheon in a dance-off at your guys' wedding. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can safely say that for sure. Um, they had a pretty good dance-off, and my, and my wife's got some great moves, man. She, she can break dance. So you proposed to your wife in Central Park. Did you know from day one that that's where you're going to do it? Uh, not really. Um, you know, I think I, I gave it a lot of thought, you know, I was going to do it on the field, you know, something with the Jumbotron, and, you know, it just things weren't working out didn't feel right and you know I knew my my wife loved New York loved uh, you know being in the city and uh, just made sense one of your teams that you played on was the Pirates of Pittsburgh they're huge into hockey you got a chance to meet Mario Lemieux did you become a big-time hockey fan at that point when you did meet Mario Lemieux and you did go to all those hockey games yeah I mean we uh, the Pittsburgh uh, the Penguins were awesome man I mean they were uh, it was a great atmosphere to go go watch a hockey game there. They were very uh, accommodating to us to have us come to the games whenever we wanted to. And so, I mean, we really enjoyed that and uh, had a lot of fun. And then, yeah, Marley Lemieux, I didn't even know we were going to meet him that day. He came in one of our, uh, we had a suite there and came in there. And he's a big guy, man, huge. I just remember his, how his hand swallowed my hand. And what about when you met Metallica? As an athlete, I mean, I know it's probably hard to get starstruck, but Metallica being one of your favorite bands, were you? Yeah, definitely. I kind of locked up. I didn't know what to do. And, uh, you know, I just, I saw him. I was like, oh, you know, it's a band I've been loving my whole life and saw him and didn't know really what to say, didn't know what to expect. When you're in Pittsburgh, they had a shark tank. Uh, when you're in Miami, they had fish tanks. They seem to follow you everywhere. Do you have a fish tank at home? Because there's not one at Yankee Stadium. <laughs> I don't, no. Uh, you know, we're thinking about getting our son a goldfish, but, you know, he might take it out of the water and let it flop around, and, that, you know, we're, we'll wait another year on that. He's a little young. If you could ask anybody a question, you're guaranteed a yes. What would the question be, and who would you ask it to? Probably ask Mark Cuban for, uh, you know, to go to dinner and, and just, you know, get some business tips and, and probably ask for a vacation. <laughs> I'd probably ask for a bunch of things. So it's hard to ask for one thing, but you know, probably something with Mark Cuban just to uh, get some business savvy. <laughs>